Welcome back to L.A. Noir. And, oh, insert wait, disc two. Uh, insert disc two. Insert I, disc two. Yeah, insert I haven't put two. in the second disc. Insert yet. disc two. There we go. There All we right. go. I really love the disc swapping. Just, just, oh, nostalgia, man. Final <laughs> Fantasy seven, eight, Legend of Dragoon, all those big fucking sexy PSX. Anyway, welcome back to L.A. Noir. We are at our next case, the Golden Butterfly. Ooh. Whatever could the, that mean? We're still in the murder department, right? Yes, we are still at the homicide portion of the game. <laughs> oh, homicide, that's right. That's the word. <laughs> Pictured a homicide. Okay. The golden butterfly, as it were. Uh-oh. Okay. He well, did that's it. rude. He did it in the parking lot with a lead pipe. Got it. L.A. Clue. I play it. It'd take too long to get anywhere. You gotta, like, you know, God. one six-sided dice, all of L.A. Oh, oh, God, oh, the entirety of L.A. Yeah, you gotta find a new car when you inevitably crash yours, and then you gotta collect clues, interrogate people. Maybe if you use three dice, and if you girl all six as your partner drives you there. That could work. That sounds awfully similar. The first rule of police work is make no assumptions until you've seen the evidence. So... We got a body, mm -hmm. in a very similar fashion, to that serial killer going around. Wait, you know, all that stuff, you know, it's a very, very similar body setup. Uh, so we're oh. like, what the fuck is going on here? So did we not catch the serial killer in the last case? Well, no, because that wasn't a serial killer case, but this one, oh. this one might be. Maybe. Oh. I'm waiting for one of these cases to become a copycat kill. Well, the last one was a copycat kill, wasn't it? I mean, is someone well, dressing mean, up the bodies or something like that? I, I, Rusty, I we are getting so. the car! Come on. <laughs> Here we go, yeah! Why does this on. boy don't- he does not want to cooperate with me! Oh! Oh, hey, uh, can you see why? I wouldn't want to get in a car with you! Oh god, the AI is getting self-aware. They don't want to get in the car with me because they know I'm gonna fucking wreck it. No! Alright! Alright. Don't go getting ahead of yourself. Okay. By the way, we missed a landmark. Well, we, we got it, but we didn't get a look at it. It was a Hall of Records. Oh, cool. I wanna know about this tunnel, though. Ow. Ow. Don't go getting ahead of yourself. That's one clearance under your belt. So I'm gonna see if I can... A new day with a new I'm gonna try and do a little less damage this time around. I'm gonna... No I'm gonna very much try. Evidence. Still gonna drive recklessly, right. but... Yeah, get the close yeah, calls here or there. Yeah, you know, close calls, maybe, uh... It's... it's training. I can't... Can I drive up those? No, I can't. Mm. <laughs> Phelps, what are you doing? You're I'm crazy, driving! Man. What's it fucking look like? All right, so maybe this is the way up because it looks like it's high on a, and it yeah it's right yeah, there on the yeah. mini map so it's got to be go. up there somewhere. But how do I? Well, that how was do impossible. I get up there though? What? Oh, oh my well, god! Um. Oh my god! We are going to die. There's an issue here. We are going to die. There is an no. issue. Oh. Ah. Oh. All right, just lost the car door. It's all right. Buff it out. But the doors are gone. You oh, I lost both car doors. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Rusty, you, you can drive. <laughs> Only because I don't know the way. That's oh, fair, have... right? That's fair. Well, okay. You know, we were always saying how the windows won't open. We'll just take off the doors. Now, boys, <laughs> it's boys, like a Jeep, you know? One you know yeah. of those UPS trucks. I'll be holding a press conference Get the shorts ready. So everybody wants to know what the I fuck happened, but we don't even know what the fuck happened, so this. wait until we find out what the fuck Fresh happened, press. The right, right. Sex Captain, Alonzo aren't there similarities between this murder and the murder of Celine Henry? And so isn't this body just like the last one and the one before that? Excuse me, sir, do you have time for an interview for the papers? Yeah, there's a serial rapist murderer on the loose. Uh-oh. There his might name be, is Cole though. Phelps. There might Wait, be, what? Hmm. We keep the gas chamber at San Quentin primed for the sons of Cain who God, continue to Stop talking about the gas chamber. It's just like, you know, you're ready to yeah, fucking... Right. Oh, it's the LAPD. Any They're a bit more the violent than... 
most other major cities are. Hey, that guy punched that other guy. Send him to the gas chamber. What do we have, Captain? Another woman sacrificed. What? Ooh, are we dealing with a cult? I don't know. But what I do know is that you should skip here if you're, again, you don't like grisly murder scenes and all that stuff like that. Skip all the nasty stuff because guess what we have again? Can't be much help to you, Phelps. She's got, nothing but paste. Oh, uh, we got another naked body. Oh. I don't think so. Celine Henry. But hey, again, we can't we can't think about that right now. Lost his temper with a broad who wouldn't put out. You a suspect, Rusty? Watch your mouth, Phelps. Oh, Cole Phelps throwing some fucking now. shade. Oh dear. Talk me through it, Mal. Severely battered on display. You got burned by Cole Indicate Phelps. How bad? It's too pee to get burned by the fucking Boy Scout of a sergeant here. Did Mendez wear? You finished? No, I'm not. At a glance, I would say strangulation is the cause of death. So she was probably uh, strangled. I mean, we don't know anything yet, but uh, let's let's see what the poor bastard did to this poor lady. If I examine the body, be my guest. I mean. Let's get it over with. All right, so uh, let's check out the face here. That is a very battered face. That's very battered. But what do we got here? Very distinctive. Hmm. I'll do some comparisons back at the lab. Special kind of rope pattern. I was thinking either rope or chain. Uh, it's over to the hand over here and slashed forearm. Oh, a ripped off ring. We got a ripped off ring right here. Ooh. Just yanked. Oh, jeez. Violently removed. Like, sheesh. Okay. Hey, that was the last one, wasn't it? Very similar. Hmm. Wouldn't you say? Let's see. He signed his name in her blood. Oh. I think her watch might have been torn off. Trying to see if she's going to come back to life. Come on. She needs to live. Live, damn it! One more try. Okay. Stop hitting yourself. St oh. Now yeah, I gotta check the torso. The angle. Check those Andy stomp was marks there. In the press? Sure was. Every detail a copycat would want was there in the story. Hmm. So if you wanted to, to commit a murder, just like the fucking, you know, serial murderer, then you can do it no problem because the press fucking prints everything. Freedom, freedom of the press and all, but let's be strategic here. Yeah. That does kind of suck ever since, you know, news started to be broadcast over television and you could actually see the details. Yeah, cops do it all the time. They leave, like, one little important detail out of the murder so that way when a possible suspect brings it up, it's like, how does he know about that, huh? That's actually brilliant. I never even considered that. Yeah, it's genius. It's pretty, cl pretty clever. I watch a lot of crime drama, so this is like old hat to me again. Okay, okay. I, I don't, Ooh! so this is perfect. Money! Five dollars! Five whole Lincolns! Yes! I'm gonna buy me some shoes. So this is Deidre Muller. This poor lady that got stomped and strangled and beaten to death and had her and shit stolen was this lady named Deidre Muller. She had her stuff stolen, or did just the ring? Just the ring, oh, oh, but what? But what else? Where what the fuck's her clothes? Hey, buddy, that is a good point. Trying to work here, got me? What? You got something to say? Detective, R and I says a <laughs> Half of his picture for the autopsy is Cole Phelps. <laughs> so Deidre was reported missing this morning from her, from her husband Hugo Muller. What about okay. Making Let's go give him a chatty chat. Let's see. What car to steal? What car to steal? Coroner's vehicle is always a good no, one. No, we've but... already taken this. I'm gonna go with this one. Cool. Yeah. Alright. Head into the Muller residence. Talk to the husband. Figure out what kind of woman this Deidre Muller was. So, uh, you, you know a lot of words. You're, you're a very uh, intelligent individual. Yes, I yes I word good. Yes, you word good. You do goo. What is the male equivalent of a widow? 
Explain or is it the same word? I thought widow. We on our way. Just a widowing? Jesus, yeah. Don't. Okay, so this serial killer is making a lot of widows here. No shit. So widowed always, husband, like widowed husbands, perhaps, if husband. you want to be, uh, yeah, you know, gender, good, gender specific. See, I always, you always see in like the in the movies and other things where it's always the man that dies in relationships, so you feel sorry for the widow. But uh, never a massive female killing. Don't make any insinuations well, because, you know, the woman's, you know, in hey, typical Hollywood, She's the mother of you know, my portrayals, is supposed to be like, you know, oh, my husband's father, dead, and, you know, she husband. can be as, like, an object of sex for the main protagonist and the, the mostly male audience, but, yeah, I think there should be a lot of more grieving husbands in the world. I mean, you know, in the world of fiction, I mean, but, you know. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's that? <laughs> <A> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's the comedy of this let's play coming to a screeching halt. <laughs> anyway. Are you kidding? That brought it back. <laughs> Woo! Let's go see the widow. Yeah! Let's go let's go make fun of him about the fact his wife is dead. It's like, uh, oh wow. You well, know, I, I, mean, I took a good look at her and I gotta tell you, you know, you could do better, my friend. You now you're free, right? You know, just the, the last time we tried that, uh, our partner got punched in the face. So let's uh, maybe keep it on the on the low here. Duh. Oh yeah, right. What? Come on. I can't make it up that. <laughs> oh, come on. They didn't want to render it, so they just stuck an invisible wall there. Uh, you just ran over that guy's bag. Whatever that was. Maybe it was a newspaper stall. They're starting to get smart oh, really? and move out of the way. See, they learned that I'm a dangerous driver, so people move quickly, probably even more quickly than they should, to get out of my way. Drivers Sound the alarms! The, it's cold. Drivers Phelps. in LA, though, they don't, they don't have that luxury of uh, knowing what? what kind of person I am. Oh my god. So, oh my god, so many close calls. Oh, that was a mailbox that had the letter to Santa in it. Cole Phelps, you just ruined somebody's Christmas. You know, people say that guns and video games is what make people, you know, violent. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. I mean, Grand Theft Auto does not make people want to kill people. What it does make me want to do is drive like this. <laughs> <laughs> Holy what shit! Like, you if idiot. I play, like, GTA for, like, five hours and then I gotta drive to work, no I stop at a stoplight, I'm thinking, man, can I just drive through it? That's dangerous! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. Well, here we are. Somehow. <laughs> Q-Scene, Muller Residence. <laughs> You're under arrest! Galloway, oh. LAPD. You know, I'm still waiting on my Condemned crossover, and we're actually chasing the matchmaker. What's your name, miss? Michelle Eloise Mahler? I, I think it might be different cities, dude. Come in? Oh, damn it. So? Okay. Maybe if he flees to LA, you know, serial oh, killer X, and Phelps is like, you actually you call him that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, we don't have the gizmo gadgetry. That was in Condemned, so forget it. <laughs> now we've got 1940s gizmo gadgetry, like a game well! Ooh! Uh, and operators! Hmm! Oh, we'll find those matchmakers, eh? Anyway, this is the daughter of Hugo and Deidre. Let's take oh, a great. look around the place here. A carrot. Hmm. Intriguing. I've got nothing to go on. Wait a minute, this carrot? We've cracked the case! Oh, wait, lunch. I'm hungry. My partner will explain everything when here in the bedroom. Hmm. What do we got a here? Shoe. We have a size eight Look. shoe. Size mm -hmm. eight. Mm -hmm. Hmm. We have here a jewelry box that is empty. Elgin wristwatch, probably the same one snatched from her body. I'm waiting for us to find like a little like post-it note that says, "Do you want to play a game?" And suddenly this turns into a saw drama. This is a detective, no you know. Th this is a detective show. This isn't uh, fucking Saw Five or whatever. There were officers in Saw. They just could never figure out the really easy to figure out traps. I've never and the seen plot was him, nonsense. So. It's like I, I know I'm gonna hate the movie, so why watch it? So. Dad's not home right now. Mom is, well, you know, 
I'm sorry to have to tell and you. And we, what we have here is a grieving 12 year old. Her mother is dead. Especially, she's just now finding out that her mother's dead. Do you think you could answer a few questions for us? And I gotta say Hi. one thing about this this very, very brave little girl. She is a fucking liar! Oh, was missing. Can you describe her things? Yep, bringing the comedy back. You lying sack of I shit. I know she's lying. She, all right, a ring, a watch. That stuff was missing. Uh, yeah, you didn't pay attention to that. But see, you're lying. <laughs> Call. You couldn't stand to look at your mother's jewelry because she got the nice stuff, and you know, daddy, daddy would buy her everything. But <laughs> Cole, what the fuck are you doing? This may be important. All right, I actually got that wrong. I was supposed to doubt her, actually. What? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh. Oh, well, now what? She wore a watch? Yes. A yellow gold Elgin watch. So she's Some... wearing gold watches, ruby rings. But Man. you you couldn't be bothered to even get a teddy bear from a store, could you? You drove you insane. You did it, didn't you? Oh, yeah, I didn't get that wrong. When did you last? It's this one I got wrong. Uh, drove her to madness. You went to a dance at Belmont High, huh? She didn't show. So oh. what did you do then? I was upset. So she goes to Belmont High School. She's 15 years old. Daddy, can you <laughs> she... You're lying. Uh... <laughs> You're feeling guilty, aren't you? Her mom got killed by groundskeeper Willie. <laughs> what were you doing? You Kissing mean? boys Wait, and drinking my... beer? Ask me to be. Ask my teacher if it isn't so. Were you doing those hip young dances? Nothing personal. I'm just doing my job. <laughs> were you doing the twist? Yeah, she wasn't telling the truth that time, so she was up to something. Oh my god. Some boys offered me a ride home, but that's not the right thing to do. Nah. Oh, good girl! Uh -huh. Good girl! But she's not telling the truth, remember? Fuck! Bad girl! Terrible! Called and called and she was probably smoking marijuana cigarettes. <gasps> Reefers. Oh. Your mom and dad are. Uh, Alright, so let's talk about. Uh, what do you think about mom and dad as a couple? Of they are. Yeah, what does a kid what does a kid see? That's most important. Well, yeah, it right. would be important if it wasn't a fucking lie. <laughs> you should tell me, young lady. You the <laughs> you no your parents are living lies. Dad like that. I know a fucked marriage when I see it. <laughs> they weren't happy, were they, Michelle? Did your father ever hit your mother? But we got nothing Just to really accuse her of. Just the once, huh? Because that bitch didn't know her place. I mean, what? See, buys her everything. You just can't stand it, can you, Michelle? Oh, but golden the, butterfly! That's a golden butterfly. So what we have here is a missing third piece of uh, jewelry. Hey, oh, Dad's home. What Daddy, the police Go to your room, are here. Please, Michelle. I'll talk to the police. Daddy, mommy is gone. Go to your room, young lady. She's not even out of school. You can't come in here interrogating her like she's some kind of... was found murdered. This what? <laughs> what? Yeah, Phelps, asshole. What? Not my fault she lies all the time. She only... Oh, well, he's, he's a... just finding out about this, too. Oh, she... oh yeah. Some well, I mean, it, it like just that. happened. We just found it this morning, and they just called me in because I'm the, I'm the big golden boy. I gotta, I gotta be first on the scene. What shoe do you wear, Mr. Muller? Why do you ask? It's routine, sir. So let's it's see if uh, Daddy's as much of a fucking liar as the daughter is. Because <laughs> right off the bat, who <laughs> yeah, <we're laughs> he's, he's, he's nine? Like huh. Like that this. eight looks an awful lot like a nine, doesn't it? <laughs> lying sack of shit. <laughs> <laughs> what a face. That's funny. Ahem. The work boots we found here are size eights. Why lie about it if you've got nothing to hide? Because I always get teased. But there's the a reason for it. You know, small feet, small... Always been true in my experience. Nothing about it. Wear a size six myself. Oh, missing persons report this morning? Yeah, that's right. Uh, my wife didn't come home last night. She left around... She left around 9.30. 9.30. 9.30, okay. okay. You know, the Deidre didn't turn up. So, being at a dance, that checks out. So she left early. Did your wife ever go out by Michelle's at a dance. To bars, nightclubs? And no. Hmm. What do you, what do you we suggest? definitely need to go to this high school then, because that might have now been where it happened. You to be pushing me, Mister. Your daughter said you were having an argument. We argued about who would pick up Michelle. I worked a full day 
I wanted to come and home, I backhanded her, her and said, "You do it." So just a little little spat. Night, it happens. You, you don't in fight in a relationship; it's not healthy. You fight all the time in a relationship; it's even less healthy. Yes. yes. You should come clean. Fucking you're lying. Affair, or if there's something going on. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Cole! <laughs> what the fuck would you say that? So why did you take so long to answer the phone when your daughter called? Oh, that is a good point. Okay, I went out for a while. I was I was driving around. It's my way. Of this guy's around. got an excuse for everything, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Your wife went to pick up Michelle. So let's. Where do you think your wife went? That's right. Where's the school? He's telling the truth, though. I mean, no, he knows he knows about, a, about as much as we do what happened after she left. Parking lot next okay. door where the parents wait for the kids. Parking lot next door where the parents wait for the kids. Oh, I think that's what we saw. And then strangled. So your wife was pretty beaten up, and uh, you have a history of violence, but uh, history of that kind of violence, I mean, to beat her up, strangle her, and steal the steal your stuff back, and then, like, stomp on her chest, and it's just... You're gonna have a lot of hay to do that, man. You don't know anything about me. Usually it's like a gunshot or a stab or something like that, unless if you're... This was really unhealthy, but I don't think, I don't think that's the case. I know about the golden butterfly, Hugo, and how you bought your wife off the last. The golden butterfly you. is crucial again. That's, a, like that's the money, right? second or Dresses, third time we've got a name drop. Jewelry, her hair—it drove me goddamn crazy. Do I look like a Rockefeller? Nobody. But likes she speech. was, uh, she was very expensive. Hostel with us is a very bad idea, okay. Hugo. I'm no murderer. Make some arrangements for your daughter, and then present yourself to Central Station for questioning. <laughs> be kidding, well, we just know? broke up a family. Good job. This is an outrage. I didn't kill my wife. Your daughter is in the next room. Is he going to get violent? No, 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 no. His daughter's in the next room. But you bet, you better show up to question him because you know, uh, just because we don't have anybody right now, we need to have a suspect. So it's going to be you for now. In there and bust his ass. One, we need to break his alibi. Check phone records, canvas the neighbors. We still, but we still got stuff to do before we can actually slam the cuffs on him. But we definitely got to get his side of the story in an interrogation room. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Oh, hello, helpful neighbor lady. Hello, detective. Look both ways. Uh huh. Y yeah, I see you over there. I've been, I've been run over by a vagrant car before. I heard the terrible news over the radio. And you can help us with our inquiries. Yes, sir. They had a row last night. Well, they had a row. That's old-fashioned talk. They had a row. Hmm, all right. I'm yeah, glad she pronounced it correctly. Off. Otherwise, what it, the hell is a row? Nowadays, it's like, this morning, oh, yeah, I saw him. He, he was guy. beating Let's the shit out of her. <laughs> <laughs> they had a Look, spat. There he is now. What? Who? Uh, what? He's That's burning something in an incinerator. What are, you, uh -oh. what are you trying to hide? Uh -oh. oh, shit. The fuck you trying to hide here, go? Oh, my God. Take him down. Stop, get, yeah, come uh, stop down. Him. <laughs> Kick his ass. What's he burning? The fuck you burning, dude. Chase him down. Yeah. When you get close enough to tackle him. And there you go. Hope you enjoy that concrete mark on your face. So what All was right. he what, what you we, burning, boy? What were you trying to burn, huh? <gasps> oh, oh! Good, Hugo. Oh, oh no! Oh dear me! Bullshit! You can explain the blood. You are going to prison, my friend. <laughs> Why didn't he wait until he left? Is there someone you can like, call, Miss? I don't. What's Holman? You need somewhere to stay, Michelle. You have other family, grandparents, aunts or uncles? Call Aunt Helen, but... So, yeah, he is definitely our best guy right now, don't you think? Get down here from Juvenile Hall to talk to you in the meantime. But there's still one thing bothering me. What's bothering you, my friend? Both stories seem to end... ...out of the way, at Belmont High School. So, let's head there! Oh, okay. 